Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement shift reduce parsing. The grammar is S derives 0 S0, 1 S1 or 2. Perform shift reduce parsing for the string 10201. We can implement the shift reduce parsing technique with the help of the stack and the input buffer. So initially stack contains the dollar symbol and the input buffer contains the input string 10201. The end of the input string always contains the dollar which represents the end marker. Initially, the input pointer points to the first element in the input buffer. The procedure is in every step, we will push one element into the stack until a proper handle appears on the top of the stack. So whenever a proper handle appears on the top of the stack, implement the given production rule to reduce the handle. The parsing technique implements frequently the shift and reduce operation until it derives the start symbol of the grammar. So when the stack derives the start symbol of the grammar and the input buffer is also empty, that is the input buffer contains only dollar symbol. So in this case, we can accept the given input string. Otherwise, there may be an error in the given input string and the parser will call the corresponding error recovery routine. So first we will shift one element into the stack. The first element is one. So element one will be pushed into the stack. Now the top of the handle is 1. So we have to check the right hand side of the production. Whether there is a substring available for this handle in order to reduce it. So here the productions are 0, S0, 1, S1 or 2. So the handle here is 1. So there is no matching substring. Now the input buffer contains the elements 0, 2, 0, 1. Next step also, we will shift one more element into the stack since there is no proper handle. So now the next element is 0. So now the top of the stack is 0. So the handle we can check for 0 or otherwise 1, 0. So here if you are checking, there is no matching substring. So now the remaining elements in the input buffer is 2, 0, 1. So next step also, we will shift the next element into the stack. So now the next element is 2. So now the top element of the stack is 2. So we can check for the handle, either it is 2 or 0, 2 or 1, 0, 2. So the handle may be a substring or the complete string. And the remaining elements in the input buffer is 0 1 2 is a handle now there is a matching substring for 2 so in this step we can reduce 2 to yes that is yes derives 2 we can replace this 2 as yes now the input buffer contains the elements 0 1 now if you are checking the top element of the stack is yes so we can check for the handle yes or 0 yes or 1 0 yes so there is no matching substring in the given production. So next step, we can shift one element into the stack. So the next element is 0 will be pushed into the stack. Now the stack contains 1, 0, yes, 0. And the input buffer contains 1. So now if you are checking, the top element of the stack is 0. So we can check for the handle 0 or yes, 0 or 0, yes, 0 or 1, 0, yes, 0. So the handle may be a substring or the complete string. There is a matching substring 0, yes, 0 so that we can reduce to yes. So now we will reduce 0, yes, 0 to yes. So the stack contains one yes. Now the top element of the stack is yes. So the handle may be yes or one yes. So there is no matching substring. So we can shift the next element into the stack. So the next element is one will be pushed into the stack. Now the stack contains the top element is one. So the handle may be one or yes one or one yes one. So if you are checking, there is a matching substring for one yes one so that we can reduce to yes. So now the input buffer contains only dollar symbol and we can reduce the handle as yes derives one yes one. So now the stack contains the top element as yes and the input buffer contains only dollar symbol. If you are considering now the stack derives the start symbol of the grammar and the input buffer also contains only dollar symbol that is input buffer is empty now. So 
In this condition, we can accept the given input string. Suppose if the stack cannot able to derive the start symbol of the grammar, then parser will raise error and it will call the error recovery routine. So if you are considering here, in shift reduce parsing technique, the parser will implement two operations continuously. One is shift and another operation is reduce. So whenever there is no proper handle at the top of the stack, the parser will shift the next element from the input buffer into the stack. And whenever a proper handle appears on the top of the stack, the parser will implement the reduce operation and the handle will be reduced. So this process continues until the top element of the stack is the stack symbol of the grammar and the input buffer is empty. When the stack reaches this condition, we can accept the given input string. Otherwise, the parser will raise the error. So, this is the procedure to implement the shift reduce parsing technique. Thank you for watching this video.